Good morning, good morning, good morning, my beautiful people around the world. It's your girl, Eunice Felicity on Food and Health Communication. And this is another episode of Cozy Kitchen. On today's, on today's episode, we'll be talking about how to regain your self-respect and why it matters. Now, self-respect is knowing you are worthy and treating yourself accordingly. You have to understand that respecting yourself is the first step towards understanding you deserve love, consideration, and opportunities like everyone else. Our level of self-respect acts almost like a blueprint to instruct others how to engage with us. When we develop healthy reciprocal relationships, we find ourselves surrounded by those who respect us, support us, and treat us how we want to be treated. Now the big question is, what is self-respect? Self-respect is loving yourself and treating yourself with care. It is the result of staying true to your values and not being willing to compromise. Listen, the more you engage in behaviors consistent with your belief and values, the more you feel fulfilled and confident. This, in turn, will improve your sense of well-being. Respecting yourself also prevents you from comparing yourself and your life with other people. This may be especially important in today's digital world. When we have a low level of self-respect, we tend to engage in more social comparison which makes us feel worse about ourselves, not good enough, and minimize our achievements. At its core, self-respect is a form of self-care. Listen, when someone has self-respect, they have accepted themselves and believe that they are deserving of belonging in the world. You need to understand that we are wired to want connection and a sense of belonging. So, Self-belonging and acceptance is incredibly important to psychological health too. Now, we're going to look at five tips to develop and show self-respect. If you feel you need to work on caring more about yourself and showing more self-respect, these tips I'm about to give you can help you take the first step, which is try to revisit your values. If self-respect means acting according to your values, The first step must be to clarify what your values are. Values are firm beliefs about what's important or desirable to you in life. For example, your integrity, your tolerance, your loyalty, your generosity, your cooperation, your wisdom, and your commitment. Once you're done with the first exercise, you have to consider following up with these other reflections, which are, who do you admire and why? What are the things you're not willing to compromise on in your life? What would you like to be known as? What are some things you aspire to become as a person that you have not yet worked on? What is important to you in friendship? What is important to you in a romantic relationship? How do you think people with different views and experiences should be treated? Try as much as possible to work on these and similar questions by being honest with yourself. Consider leaving cultural or family expectations behind so you can identify what matters to you the most. Number two tips, consider taking inventory of your relationship. Yes, you probably don't live in isolation, even if you don't have too many people around you. Self-respect starts with the people you choose to have in your life and in your heart. Surround yourself with people who empower you to accept and embrace your authentic self. Are you being treated by others as you wish to be treated? If not, it is helpful to set boundaries in your relationship. Boundaries are used to let others know what you're willing to accept and tolerate. Number three, try to focus only on the activities you enjoy. Self-respect is also about life satisfaction. And that may start by spending time and effort on the things you're passionate about. Although this isn't always possible, try to include a few activities in your routine that makes your heart happy. Some of the routines you should include are 
starting a new hobby or reconnecting with one that used to make you happy setting your professional goals and making 90 days plan that includes specific tasks that will help you achieve them reading a new book about personal growth fiction or career development starting a blog a vlog or personal journal then sing yeah singing a la 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 or listening to your favorite bits starting a new exercise routine learn to cook plan an event for the family volunteer your time or cause you're passionate about doing things you're good at could also help you increase your sense of well-being number 4 practice self-care with help respecting yourself means taking care of yourself mentally emotionally socially and physically Self-care activities you can include in your routines are relaxation techniques to manage anxiety and stress, spending time in nature, connecting with your favorite people even if virtually, revising your diet to make it fit your health need, taking pauses to reset, rest and recharge. Number 5. Identify and nurture your needs. If self-respect is about taking care of yourself, it is important that you identify what care means for you. What are your needs? What would make you feel fulfilled and satisfied? Check in with your needs on a daily basis, and instead of shaming yourself for having needs, nurture your needs. It is natural to feel apprehensive about spending too much time on yourself, especially if your responsibilities include taking care of others. But attending to your need is essential to your well-being and can even prepare you to take better care of others if that's a priority for you. All right, all right, all right. This is where we come to a stop on morning coffee. Thank you guys for sticking with us today. Do make sure you like our social media pages on Food and Health Com and kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Unis Felicity for Food and Health. Stay safe.